quarantine station, Manly, New South Wales, is known as one of the most haunted locations in Australia. During 1833 to 1984, immigrants were quarantined in Sydney to stop the spread of infectious diseases. For many, it was a harrowing experience of fear and death. Hundreds of people died. Most are buried in unmarked graves on site, and there are countless claims that they still haunt the grounds. We're going to be late for this appointment. Come on, this is not fast enough. Come on. Really? I know. I know you don't want to go. So how was your week? Great. You look anxious. Are you feeling anxious? Why don't you tell me more about these nightmares you've been having? Yeah, I'd rather not. What is it that you want to get out of the sessions? Honestly, to get my mum off my back. Our time together could be constructive if you learn to use the reasons why you're feeling this way. And you might even learn some techniques. 
how to overcome your anxiety. You might even learn some strategies about how to get your mum off your back. I know it's hard to trust me. But these nightmares are having a strain on your everyday life. And your subconscious is trying to tell you something, Jasmine. Can we please stop this now? Repressing your subconscious can lead you into a, into a very dark place. In fact, it seems to have already taken a stop. I don't need to be psychoanalyzed. Okay, and you have no idea what it's like. No idea about what? The nightmares. Tell me. feel out of control and I see things that I just don't want to see and I don't know how to turn it off. I just, I don't want to dream anymore. Well, dreams often reflect repressed feelings. What feelings do you think you could be repressing? If I knew that I wouldn't be here, would I? What about your father? Tell me more about him. What's there to tell? Yes, 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 yes. I need to yes, talk yes. to you. Yes. I need to talk to you, okay? Just wait. Look, I'm already late for work. We'll talk about it when I'm at home. You promise me. We'll talk about it when I'm at home, okay? You're such a liar. What you are feeling, Jasmine, is completely normal. It is part of your grieving process. And the reason that you're feeling this way is because you're repressing your emotions and your feelings. And in this case, that is why you're dreaming. You've got to learn to trust me. And you've got to work with me. And I promise you, I promise you, we'll overcome this. We? Together. T together? Yes. What did you know about struggling? You sit there so smug, I bet you've never struggled a day in your life. And that is why you're such a crap doctor. Okay, because you said you'd help me. Okay, you said I wouldn't feel like this. But you're full of shit. Jasmine? Every day it gets worse, okay? You're not a doctor, you're a fraud. Jasmine. I'm sorry. Sorry, I just I get so angry. Sometimes we just need a little help just to get by. I'm going to give you some pills. Now I want you to take one now. I'm going to give you a script, Jasmine, and I want you to stay on these for one week till you come back and see me next week. And I've given you my after-hours number. And I want you to call if you need me. You've got to live your life. You can't keep living in the past because you're not connecting to your life. Just live moment by moment. You'll overcome this, I promise you. you just got to trust me. How'd it go? It sucked. Feeling any better? Um, she gave me some pills. Cool, heavy stuff. I have to go back next week, though. It's all for the best, sweetheart. Trust me, you'll be feeling better in no time. At least you've got someone to talk to.
Wait, you're saying they had sausage rolls? You bet. Dude, can I have a bite? Sure. For five bucks. Why zip? Let me yeah. on. Ah. Boys, that's enough. Stop fighting. Jasmine's had a tough day. Sky, you should know better than that. Just trying to keep the peace, Mrs. O. Is Blake staying over tonight? Yes, he is. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, up or not. Jasmine, you're going to have to help with the housework when we get home. Catherine's picking me up at six. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You slept night. Excuse me. Well, me and Sky got the deadline on the history assessment. We've got to go to the quarantine station, which I did tell you about. So maybe you'll have to miss out on your plan. And we'll discuss it when we get home. And, Zach, you're going to have to help with some housework as well. Nah. You'll do as you're told. I'm 14. I can do what I want. <laughs> oh, I'm 14. 14. Mm, piss off, losers. Big That's deal. enough of that language. You know I don't like it. Hey, Mrs. Anderson. Cameron, how are you? Boys? Yeah. Hey, babe. <laughs> One of those days, huh? Didn't you hear a loser? She doesn't want you. Oh, hey, trash bag. Stop it. Stop it. the doctors this morning. Oh my god, put the camera away and leave me alone. I've got a really good idea for the name of your doctor. Oh, tell me. I've got a stalker boyfriend. Get me out of here. <laughs> dude, dude, the game's waiting. Well, I'm gonna kick your ass. Where do you think you're going? See my girlfriend? Um, give her some space for a minute. She's had a really rough morning. Look, I think I know my girlfriend a little bit better than you do, Sky. Oh, really? Where were you this morning then? Shooting my doggo. I don't know why. <laughs> You're already on the wines, huh? So you're definitely going out tonight? Sweetheart. Dad's been dead for a year, Mum. Oh, no, don't not. touch me. Come You're on. no help. I went to a psychologist today because I'm struggling so much. It's okay. Oh, oh, Tyler, just go. I don't care. I don't care. All right, I'm going down. So am I. No, you're not. Just stay here and leave her to have some space for a minute. What are we playing? Nothing with you. Isn't it time you got yourself a boyfriend? Isn't it time you got yourself a girlfriend? Isn't, Isn't it time, time you got, got a girlfriend? girlfriend? I've already oh. got two little bitches, so I don't need anyone oh. else, do I? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, 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 no. <sighs> <laughs> you lost. Is, isn't that Cameron? Still going down. Really? Hey, Jazz. I thought I told you to wait upstairs. <laughs> As if I was going to listen to you. Guys, quit it. Sky, um, can I talk to Cam please? Please? 
place. I'll wait outside. Now look, you need to stop. Okay, you're being overbearing. Like, back at the door we got home today, you're standing outside my house. I didn't know you were going to be here. Didn't exactly invite you to come. I mean, I'm just trying to be here for you. Be here for me? Then be here for me and help me because right now you're really not helping me. Well, look, maybe if you grew up a little bit, you wouldn't have to be going to see that What the and... hell would you know? Okay, I'm sorry you're fighting it hard with your dad, Jazz. <laughs> no, you don't. Don't be like that. You need to get out. Seriously? Yes, seriously, you need to get out right now. Fine. I'm done anyway. You all right? I'm fine. Don't really want to talk about it. About what? Nothing. <laughs> so selfish. You can or your mum? Cam's a dick. She's selfish. Why? We have to take the boys with us to the quarantine station now. Who cares? We can boss them around and make them write stuff for us. And mums are going out, so it means that we'll get the house to ourselves. Yeah, Saturday night. Mums are going out, we're not. Taking the boys to the quarantine station doesn't get much better than that. Oh my God, you know what we can do? We can scare the shit out of them. <laughs> Come on. Fine, fine. <laughs> But, um, look at this. Oh my god, is that a ghost? Mm-hmm. The quarantine station. One of the most haunted places in Australia. Oh, oh, hi. Yeah. oh my god, they're not yeah, even hot. You. <laughs> they're just jealous, guys. Jealous? Fuck off. So you got one of those pills for me? <laughs> Shut up. So, who's ready to see some ghosts today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Yeah, that's what I was talking to you about. The girl in the pink dress. Who's the girl in the pink dress? Only the most freaky ghost ever. Apparently, we can get some information from the tour guides as well. Yeah, it's probably all that gory stuff they don't put online. Dude, I might as well just wait in the restaurant area. Don't be such a pussy, dude. It's embarrassing. Fuck off. I didn't bring a pen or anything, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Watch this. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Oh, oh it's so good. Oh god, that was such a gross little shit. Nah, Ew. still got the ride home. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, oh. that was so good. Yeah. So disgusting. Seriously. Diseases such as smallpox and Spanish influenza caused many deaths, and most casualties were buried in unmarked graves on site. As it was believed that many doctors used euthanasia instead of trying to actually cure the sick. Some of the spirits here are hostile, so don't be surprised if they try to prove their presence by making contact with some of you. If you take a look around the museum, you'll see many of the personal effects of the residents and medical staff who lived here. Jess, Jess, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, no, um, I'm good. Um... It's probably just some weird side effect for my pills. Let's just stop for a minute. This place is giving me the creeps. <gasps> oh, come on, let's go. We are going to several locations today that are reported to be extremely haunted. First rule of thumb, before you enter any of the buildings, knock on the door. It's to let the spirits know that you wish to enter. Frankly, what building do you think is the scariest? Oh, the shower blocks. Everyone who entered the shower blocks at the time when the quarantine station was functioning had to have an acid shower. Some previous tour participants have reported hearing screams while they've been walking through. Some can smell the faint aroma of burning or rotting flesh. We noticed that it's always the more sensitive participants that experience things the most. 
There are even stories of spirits attempting to latch on to certain people depending on their emotional state. The key is to stick together. Can you tell us about the girl in the pink dress? Her name was Jolene Denman. She was only nine years old when she contracted smallpox. I don't want to die. I know. It's okay. Just go to sleep. When you wake up, everything will be okay. Not much is known as the diary the doctor kept is decayed in some places. But what we do know is that he believed that he found a cure when she died. How do we know it's safe to use on our patients? We have to try. Your theory is outrageous and it won't work. Impossible. Can we please just try it on the girl? We don't have much time. No. I told you. You can see her condition has been improving. You deliberately disobeyed my orders and the orders of the board. Your actions could shut down this entire station. We cannot allow you to destroy all of us. But just look at the work I've Nothing. This is the last time. The head of medicine, Dr. Welsh, thought he was mad and tried to put a stop to all his experiments. His methods are radical. Doctor, this nonsense really has to stop. And it's completely unfounded. If you just take a look at it, decided. Discontinue your research or your title shall be revoked. I'm sorry. The board. Dr. Welsh actually lived out the rest of his days at the quarantine station. His headquarters are now known as the Gravedigger's Cottage. It is one of the most haunted locations on the site. Evidence was found that some doctors did experiments on live human bodies as they hung from the ceiling. There were even rumours that some patients witnessed the actual killings. Dr. Jackson and his colleagues used a medium to delve into the occult and that they'd performed evoking rituals to speak with the girl as he was so desperate to contact her. knows for sure why Jolene stayed, but it is widely believed that she may have been murdered and that there's some connection between her death and the gravedigger's cottage, but that's just speculation. From Dr. Jackson's writing, many believe that her soul is burning with anger, seeking retribution. We believe that is why her official cause of death is left as unknown. The diary that contained all the evocations and curses is safely locked away at the far end of the museum. No one has ever dared evoke her spirit as far as we can tell, so you're all perfectly safe. Hey boys, I got an idea. Why don't we evoke the spirit of the girl in the pink dress? You're on.
he stole that from the front desk? Dari should be here somewhere. I've got it. Whoa, you found it's it. It's like the Necronomicon. Here it is. The evoking spell. I don't think we should be doing this. Don't be such a pussy, dude. Okay, so we need to find Jolene's tomb. Here. Okay, so we need to stand in a straight line by the tomb and... Oh. Lame. Okay, so we need to read the spell on three. Ready? One, two, three. Your eyes are my eyes, your ears are my ears, your voice is my voice. I evoke the girl in the pink dress. Hey, nothing happened. Yeah, that sucked. Jazz? Come on, guys, you can't scare us. Enough already. Let's get out of here before Blake shoots himself. Enough already. Come on. Oh my God. I knew you were going to do that. Sure you did. Too soon. I can't believe you'd show me that. Seriously, I don't know why you don't just delete these. I mean, this is ridiculous. Or have you done it so many times you don't bother anymore? What are you guys actually fighting about this time? It's nothing. I mean... It's over. It doesn't matter. I can't believe my mum went out tonight. Dad's been dead for less than a year and she can't wait to find a replacement. Jazz, Stupid bitch. she's just doing what she needs to do and you should be doing the same. Seriously, Cameron, you could do so much better than Cameron. I mean, fuck them. Fuck them all and what they think. I mean... Yeah, I'm really hungry, so... Don't change the subject. Okay. Yeah, just do with love. Okay, thank you. Bye. I always thought they'd be blue or something. You don't want to take too many of those, not after what happened. Yeah, um, I think they're wearing off. <laughs> Still can't blame my mum. Just so obvious that she's over dad and probably has a new boyfriend or something. She doesn't have a boyfriend, Jess. Besides, don't you think partying's the best way to grieve after someone? Well, I mean, staying home, playing babysitter and popping pills. I'd rather die. You actually suck at this game. Come on. Hey, who you calling? Ava, Mum said she could sleep over tonight. Cool. Dude, you just happy your girlfriend can come over. Dude, you're just jealous because I'm friends with your sister too. I can't believe you two are twins. I mean, she's so ballsy and you're so not. I wouldn't let you do anything to her anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Do what? Hmm? Must be a short circuit. Coming!
Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh my god. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Sky, I bet you think you're real funny. It's really lame. Get over it. Sammy? What are you doing down here, girl? Get back inside. I knew you were there. Sure you did. I'll get drinks then. Use plates. Jack, can we get some pizza before the boys eat it all? Yes, I'm coming. You okay in there? Yeah, um, yeah, all good. Shit, so we'll be having small boy pie for dessert. Are you okay, Jess? I spilt it and and there was just blood everywhere. Are you okay? That's not blood, that's water, Jess. See, Jess? No, it was just water. No, it was blood. There was definitely blood. Don't worry, Jess, I believe you. Sometimes I see things others can't. What? It's true. Okay, Jess, you're gonna be fine. Come here. It's okay. Mommy and Daddy. They're in a better place now. Sleepwalking. Oh my god. It's okay. 
Patrick. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I didn't even. I didn't. I didn't even know where I was. I know. It's okay. Just relax, okay? I just want you to go to sleep and sleep it off. It's just you and your medication. It's okay. All right. You just go to sleep. I'll hold your hand and you go to sleep. Nine. Do you honestly think I'm going to sleep after that? You'll be all right. Dude, what's wrong with your sister? Nothing. Shut up. We saw a ghost. Shut the hell up, Star. She's not crazy. Listen, it's just doing your medication, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call the doctor and I'm gonna call her mum. Okay, so you two go and get me some more blankets and leave me alone. Right? Oh. We have to get that diary. It's not from the pills. She's only been on them for one day. Dude, why don't we just wait for Sky get and Jasmine? We're going. Slight paralysis, okay. Okay, so it is just a side effect then. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, where are the kids? Are they okay? They're asleep. Everyone's fine. Yeah. You really scared us there for a minute. No, Sky. Don't. Please, like, call mom. Hey, I'm. I'm fine. I'm seriously fine. I don't want her to come home. Please hang up the phone. Sky, hang up. How is she, Zach? She's okay. Come on, let's go. Fuck. Jess? Jess? Mrs. A isn't home. Besides, I left my camera. She called me, so I'm here. Does she really look like she knows what she wants right now? Don't let me fall asleep. Okay, don't let me fall asleep. Don't get inside me. Just when I'm asleep, don't let me fall asleep. Just...
won't I? It's gone pretty bad, actually. I don't know what to do, Cam. Come on. It'll be fine, right? I'll just stay here till Mrs. A gets home. That's not a good idea. What if she gets home and you're here? I don't even care. Okay, this medication clearly isn't right for Jazz. Why well, think she's haunted by a ghost? What? Well, we went to the quarantine station this afternoon for that assignment. We pretended to evoke the spirit of a dead girl to scare them. Think she's possessed or something. <laughs> I think you guys are insane. Okay, she looks okay now. I'm gonna start taking this freak shit down. By the way, you guys left the garage door open. No, we didn't. It was probably Mrs. A when she left. And the boys are asleep, right? Yeah. I think maybe you should go check on the boys. I'm not leaving Jazz. You go check on I'm them. I'm definitely not leaving Jazz, OK? I only just got here. Look, we'll take turns, OK? You go first. This is some scary shit, man. Would you just shut up and follow me? How you doing, Zach? Yeah, just hurry up. I Oh, shit. Good idea right for the ghost to us. Thanks. Okay, uh, Natalie and Amanda will take you. Okay, kids. Amanda will take you down to the tour group. Get on the bus. I'll go first. You stick close behind. Can't find anything. Where was it again? It looked so different at night. I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Zach. Guys, this is it. Keep up. Have we found it already? It's just a diary, right? Dude, calm down. It's not a history lesson either. Hurry up. I want to get out of this place. What does it look like? Wait, Eva, Eva, come here, get the light on you. Found it! What the hell? What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Ah, it's burning! Blake, give me, give me your jacket, come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Place Cameron seriously. What's up, your ass? Nothing, you moron. They're gone. What do you mean they're gone? They're not in their room. Are you sure it's not outside having a smoke or something? What do you mean they're gone? How long have they been gone for? Anywhere up to a couple of hours. A couple of hours? 
They could literally be anywhere. Why didn't you come and tell us sooner? Jazz, you haven't really been yourself lately. Get up and start looking for them. Go. If you guys are out here smoking, so help me, I will... Zach! Blake! Eva? Station's open 24 hours, they'll be fine. You know what? When I get my hands on those little shits, I'm gonna absolutely murder them. Oh, I don't have to go or anything, Cameron. You're such a gentleman. Right, look, I'm not leaving Sky when she's like this, okay? Not when she's high on her medication. Besides, do you want to be here when Mrs. A gets home? Good point. I'd rather let her kill you. Yeah. Oh, and Sky, can you uh, take my camera? The shots of the quarantine station go really well with my doco. Your doco sucks. But the camera light will come in handy, so... Oh. And Cam. Look after Jazz. Or I'll kick your ass. Gotcha. Come on, Zach, you better pick up. Hey, it's Zach. Leave a message. Zach, I know you're at the quarantine station. I'm coming to get you. You guys are in deep shit. Ugh! <laughs> 
Sorry, the buses aren't running. Where are the boys? It went in there. Sky, be okay. Just at home asleep. I'll get the boys and then we can go home. You stay here. going on. I just saw Zach and then he just disappeared. Um, I just want to find them and get the hell out of here. It's no use. Their phones are dead. And the curse is real. I know it sounds stupid, but there's no other way to explain what's going on here. I just want to go home. 
Okay, they're after the diary, right? Yeah, it's in the museum. They're not in the museum. I've already checked. Hey, well, think. Where else could they be? The grave digger's cottage.
Come on, let's go. Okay, quick, get in the car, let's go.
that, sweetheart. Well, I want you to know, Jez, it wasn't your fault. Let go of your anger. Leaving the light, Jez. Leaving the light. Jazz? Hey. Hey. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, good. I just got a phone to your mum. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. She's on her way over right now. Hey. I'm gonna take the kids so you can just relax. You gonna be all right? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Call me if you need anything. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go later. to say I'm sorry for last night and kicking you out. You know more than anyone how hard it's been for me recently. Um, I don't mean to take it out on you. Sorry. <laughs> I miss you. Um, yeah, call me when you get this. Okay, bye. Rich Cam, leave a message. Or not.